At the end of the day, VTubers are anime avatars, and we can't have anime avatars without some Nihongo. Well, I'm part Japanese, and if that's not enough, I have an N1 certificate, so I think that will make me a little Jozu. Probably not. But I'll take any excuse to talk about VTubers, so I'm reviewing the Japanese of Hololive EN. Let's go! This is done for comedic purposes and not in any way educational. First of all, Kiara is just Jozu, man. Listen to this. She has mastered Tameguchi, which is to talk impolitely. I say impolite, but it's not being rude or anything, it's just the opposite of Keigo, which is the formal form of Japanese. So Kiara be doing the street talk, and she doesn't run out of things to say. I think Kiara's even Jozu than I am, so she gets Jozu. So I hear Ame forgot most of the things she studied, but you know the goal of an anime girl is to use kawaii Japanese. I like this. This is cute. And this pretty much nailed it. So she gets a cute pass. First of all, Watashi is the biggest scam in the Japanese language. Anyway, Gura is almost Jozu, but she's so cute using Japanese. So I'll give her cute and almost Jozu. Where did she learn that? Hmm. Ina. She's pretty good. I think she mastered conversational Japanese already, but she needs to be more confident in her abilities. And I highly appreciate her reciting Jugemu in her debut stream. Yeah,それはそうだろう。I'm giving her Jozu. I think Kali is constantly improving her Japanese. Like if you compare her Japanese only stream from a year ago to the Japanese only stream to this year, it's night and day. All her brief pauses are eliminated. I'm guessing she got more tango or vocabulary at this point because she is just constantly on that grind. So I'm giving her a well-deserved Jozu. Now for Gen 2. I love the fact that Bei uses Boku instead of the scam that is Watashi and it builds her distinctive character. And I like how her Japanese is actually calculated to build or add to her tomboyish character design. That's Giga Brain. So she gets Jozu. Fauna is still learning Japanese, but remember what I said about cuteness being a factor? <laughs> yeah, she got it. Her Japanese is soothing to the soul, so I'll give her A, SMR. Crony is just funny. Oh, uh, it's not Koko Kara, it's a uh, Kore Kara. Kore Kara Watashi no Lama des. She hides her shyness with her accent and it just works. Ah, uh, Kore Kore Kara Watashi no Lama des. Watashi no Lama des. <laughs> So she gets funny and cute. As for Sana, she has lapses. I think because she doesn't use the language often. It happens to any language. But she makes up for it with confidence. So I'll give her needs work bad confident. It seems like the spectrum of Japanese skill in Hololive EN is either unbelievably Jozu or just cute enough to melt your heart. Which do you think Mumei is? Yeah, heart meltingly cute. Well, well, Iris is quite Jozu. Her level of Japanese might be the same or higher than Kiara. Iris's Japanese is so clean. She uses a lot of teine or polite form of Japanese, which kinda complements her character design. And that's always a plus. So she's just Jozu. 
And that's it. Remember, learning any language is hard, and I just made this for fun. At the end of the day, they are all awesome content creators. And don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you would enjoy this video right here.